You have been a strong supporter of some of what President Trump sought to do. Uh, mm -hmm. Is it possible to move forward and really embrace some of what he sought to do that you agree with and not be divisive? Because President Trump, I think it's fair to say, was fairly divisive throughout his four years. It is possible. In fact, I was one of his earliest campaign hires in 2015 in the Republican primary when it was a, re a crowded field. I supported his reelection campaign. He supported my election. But the, the line in the sand that was drawn when the Capitol, the U.S. Capitol was attacked, was egged on by, by words and actions by the president, by, by certain members of Congress that, that enabled this sort of thing to happen. Uh, our lives were put in danger and five people died. And so every accomplishment from lower taxes to a great economic return to uh, Operation Warp Speed during, during COVID-19 pandemic, all those things were entirely wiped out. Every gain we had is gone. And so we do have to start over from scratch, and I'm willing to put in the work to do that. I'm willing to work with the Biden administration. I'm willing to work with members of both parties to ensure that that does happen. The problem we're having right now is that we have these QAnon conspiracy people continuing with this division. And we're seeing in, in the Democratic Party, too, they're spoke, stoking uh, words of division as well. And I'm just sick and tired of it. Uh, it's just too important to continue down this path. It's self-destructive. And uh, we're better than this. Congresswoman, finally, <laughs> as you say, your mm -hmm. life was put in danger uh, yeah. last Wednesday. Uh, we look forward to the inauguration on the 20th. How confident are you from what you've heard that we will be able to avoid violence in the Capitol once again for the inauguration? I'm very concerned about violence. Uh, I, will, I, I wanted to attend the inauguration um, I will not be attending the inauguration now because I am concerned about copycats and concerned about the rhetoric. I've heard about it, some sort of January 17th event. Um, they had to extend the perimeter around the, the Capitol because of that. We have four times as many National Guard on the streets now. Um, this does not look like the Capitol that I know and that I love.